guys welcome back to my channel you guys black china cracks me up like oh my goodness not her trying to be friends with the kardashians now this girl literally sued them last year and now all of a sudden she want peace she want peace she literally was in an interview and she had a shirt on with Kim on it for Dolce and Gabbana. I'm gonna play the video video for you guys. Dolce? Yeah, Dolce. Dolce. Not Dolce. Dolce. Look, look, Dolce. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me take these off. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, I love Dolce and Gabbana, y'all. Like I don't know, like whoever's doing their like designs and stuff, like that's 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 like my stilo. But I wore this shirt today because I wanted to support Kim. Yeah, she did a collaboration with Dolce, and I, I respect it, you know? And it's Dream's auntie. Like, now that's Dream auntie. Wasn't she Dream auntie before? After she did all that, even try to delete their brother, according to the Kardashians? <laughs> this Sorry, you guys, but that cracks me up so much. Like, I just can't. But, um... At least um, the Kardashians, since they're so forgiving, they forgive Tristan Thompson all the time. They might as well forgive Black China and welcome her in into the family again. Some of you guys may know, some of you guys may not know. You know, Black China had bad blood with the Kardashian family for years now. When all this drama went down, when Kylie was dating um tyga which is black china's baby father and then black china went to date rob their brother and it's just been chaotic since then but hey i think this is all part of her growth you know she doesn't want to be black china anymore she's angela white so this is a new chapter for her and she's starting fresh so hopefully everybody just cooperate and be on the same page, especially for a little dream. Okay, imagine when she grows up, hopefully they find a way to explain all of this to her. And speaking of Black China, you guys, she went to get a tattoo removed. So this tattoo, she said, is like a demonic tattoo. So I guess she got it when she was younger, like years back. But she literally put a demon tattoo on her. Like, for why? I don't know. But that is just crazy to me. And the fact that she actually says it's a demonic tattoo. Like, why would she get something like this? But thank God she's getting it removed. You know, she's saved now. But this is what her mom was talking about, Tok Tokyo Tony. You see, a lot of people think she's crazy and she'd be lying. But a lot of time. Her mom probably telling the truth about a lot of stuff. Her mom said something about her being an Illuminati. So she was right. Wow. But I'm just happy like she's getting this tattoo removed. You know, she's being saved. The Lord has saved her. Thank God. And honestly, I am so glad she decided to like share this journey with us. She has no idea like the amount of people that you could reach just by sharing your testimony. So this is good. This is great. But anyways, you guys, thanks for watching this um, video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye, y'all.